Hello, I'm Aaron from the ETSU Center for Academic Achievement, and today I'm going to talk about U substitution in calculus. When performing U substitution, look for the part in the integral that would need the chain rule if you were differentiating, or alternatively, look for the part in the integral that is the antiderivative of another part, and then set this part equal to U usually. Find the DU term by differentiating, uh, but find it in a way that includes as much as possible that's already in the integral. Substitute in, simplify and integrate as normal, and then substitute back in the original u at the end of the problem. So here's an example. The integral of e to the 5x plus 2 dx. I'm going to pick for my u the 5x plus 2. So my derivative du dx is 5. Solving for du, I get the du is equal to 5 dx, or 1 fifth du is equal to dx. Substituting that back into my original problem, I get the integral of e to the u times 1 fifth du, and then using the constant rule, I can bring the 1 fifth outside the integral and get 1 fifth on the integral of e to the u du. Now I can integrate e to the u du just like normal. And so I'll get 1 fifth e to the u plus c. And then substituting back in my original u, I get 1 fifth e to the 5x plus 2 plus c. And this is my final answer. Here's another example. The integral of 3x cosine 4x squared dx. This time I'm going to choose 4x squared as my u. Differentiating, I get that du dx is equal to 8x. Then solving for du, I get 8x dx. However, since I have an x and a dx in this problem, I'm going to bring out the 1 8 and make it 1 8 du equals x dx. Now substituting back into my original problem, I get the integral of 3 cosine u 1 8 du. And using constants again, I can bring the 3 8 out in front of the integral. Now I integrate as normal and get 3 8 sine u plus c. And I substitute back in my original u, the 4x squared. And this is my final answer. Here's some helpful hints. Look for things in the integral that are derivatives of each other. Solve the du term for as many things in the integral as possible. Remember to add plus c when you find an indefinite integral. And check your answer by differentiating. And of course, practice. Thanks for watching.